This is the third part to the Wit Eden Super 3x3x8 Type 2 tutorial. And last time I finished all the tweener layers that are between the middle and the outer layers. So now for this one, I want to first. Well, I'm going to solve this layer over here, and then this layer, and this layer last. But the first thing I want to do is to make sure that all the white goes on to the right side. And while doing that, because just because of the specific way I'm going to do it, I'm going to solve all the white correctly relative to each other. So I don't have to do any more extra algorithms. So first I want to put all the edges into the right spot and start I'm going to start with this one. It's already in the right spot, so I'll keep that there. This one is not. I want to put a green edge piece here, green and white edge piece. So look for which one that is. It's hard to see here, but you can usually just see if you just open it up a bit. As you, if you can look close enough, that has a bit of white in there. So this is a correct piece. This green piece does not have that sticker, so it's not the right one. So this one, I'm going to bring this down twice and move just this layer over. And now it exposes it. You can see that's green and white. And put that up. And now these two are correct. Next, I'm going to take that same orange piece, it should be this one, and I'm going to put that in here using the same method as before. Now, the last one is a blue, and since the other blue is already here, just whatever blue is on this layer should work. This one. And does. So now, I want to get all the corners here. And this one's already saw, so you don't worry about that one. This one, the corners are much easier to find. You can see them right here. So for this one, I had to put whichever corner I want to put in directly underneath of the place I want to put it into. From here, I'm going to rotate any of the sides that involve this side, this one or this one. I'm going to do that twice. Now, if I did like that the piece I want to put in is right here so when I flip this around again it'll come right here so I'm going to move this over so that it aligns with that white and blue now I'll take it out of the way again so that the corner and um, edge piece don't separate and put it back in and that solves that piece the same with the other ones it's directly underneath make sure it has a white sticker on it and connect them and put it back in. This last one, same thing. Okay, and for these last layers, this one, this one, and this one, thanks to the yellow and yellow and white stickers on the outside, you can always tell which one should, should go on the right side. So you won't have an error with this one. It's mainly with this layer, these tweener layers. Okay, so now this part is all solved. And I had to solve these pieces over here. Now, to do that, I'm going to do the same as before. I'm going to solve the corners first and then the edge pieces, layer by layer. There is another way of doing, of reducing these first, but that can get kind of complicated and may not always work. So I'm going to show you the other way. Okay, now looking at these corners, the method, the algorithm I used before flipped two of them. And seeing that there's none that's already solved, like relative to each other, I can start anywhere and do the same algorithm twice. So, start anywhere. It's going to be R2, U, R2, U inverted, R2, F2, F inverted, F2, down, a uh, D, and R2. This one just moves over once, put it back. Now these two are solved, this relative to each other, these corners. So I'm going to put those to the left and the remaining two to the right. Same algorithm. R2, U, R2, U inverted, R2, F2, U inverted, F2, D, R2. 
put it back. And I get all these, and I just had to solve these centers. Now in this situation, you can see that blue and green are opposite each other, as well as orange and purple are opposite of each other. So for, the, for this one, you don't have to use that longer algorithm I used before. Just do R2, U2, R2, U2, R2. Move it over to the side, same thing. And that solves that layer. Okay, now this layer is by far the most e easiest to solve. And sometimes it may seem you have a parity error, but you don't actually. So first I'm going to flip around these two corners, same as before, R2, U, R2, U inverted, R2, F2, U inverted, F2, D, oh, and in this case because this can't spin around you have to do it slightly differently. Once it gets to D, you just stop. So from here, I'm going to complete this square again first. So it was originally over here, I want to move this over here, replace it, put it back. That solved that completely. And as you can see, these three are white and this whole thing has to be flipped around. So I did just that, and I want to complete the square again. Same thing as before, and that keeps all the corners intact, but it also solves this. Now there's just these three left, and I can do it the same as before. R2, U2, R2, U2, R2. And now there's two left, just do the same as before. R2, U, R2, U, R2, 2U, R2, 2U, R2, U, R2, U invert it, and R2. And that solves it. But, just in case, if you get some error that looks like this or something that looks like or you get something that looks like this where there's only one more flip yet to do but when this is already solved then there's a simple way to do that because in this case, if you flip these two, then all of these layers in between will be flipped around as well. And you don't want that. So if it's like this, or where these two are flipped around, just bring that whole center layer over, and take this one, and just flip around 180 degrees. Put it back. And now from here, it should be easy to solve. Same as before. R2, U2, R2, U2, R2, R2. U, R2, U, R2, 2U, R2, 2U, R2, U, R2, U invert it, and R2. And that's how I solved the super, uh, with Eden super 3x3x8 three three type 2.